Okay, welcome. This is Jay Nicholas at the Caddis Fly Shop. The topic of this video is worms. Now, there was a time when we tied wonderful little worms using chenille, vernil, round rubber. And this is what this is what one of those beauties would look like. The fish love them. They thank us for them. They eat them like crazy. But you know what? These guys have they have more wiggle. So I haven't I have not disposed of all my San Juan worms, but I'm adding these to my uh, to my arsenal. We've gone a long way from vernil chenille for our San Juan worms. This is a mini squiggle worm. This is a squirmy wormy, and this is a caster's squirmoto. Hey, I'm uh, briefly going to talk to you about hooks that are appropriate to use with these squirmy wormies and the mini squiggle worms. These are a couple of the Kona hooks we like, the BC1 and the BC2. They're barbless, they're fine wire, we tend to use 12s and 14s, sometimes a 10. This is a Kona hook. Um, it is a FW541. Uh, these are all really nice hooks. This is an example of a squirmy wormy tied to be a gob of worm. And uh, to, to, I'm gonna show you how I did this. Um, I get myself a hook and we, we have the appropriate hooks linked below. I will take a piece of my squirmy wormy now somebody's already laughing at me saying well Jay you're not exactly tying a fly well that that may be true but I'm going fishing and I just run and you have to do it kind of carefully you run your hook through the worm and then you gather a little bit of slack there and you run it through the worm again and guess what this is just about like putting a live worm on your hook, but this is not a live worm. So we are, are we fly fishing? Well, we're, yeah, we're using a fly pole and some string and a bobber. So what I've got here is a nice little, and you get a, a chance to exert a lot of creativity in how you make your worm gob on your hook and then you get a little bit of super glue just a little bit just a tiny tiny bit right there a little bit right there right there and I probably have three times more than what I actually need and you let this dry don't put it on a piece of paper don't put it uh, on the dining room table because the super glue, super glue will bond to it. Uh, but um, anyway, that's how you do the gob of worm. And these are very effective. And I would suggest, you know, tying up um, uh, several because you don't want to be trying to do this stream side. I'm going to show you another example. This, if, if you don't want to have a gob of squirmy wormy, this is a squirmy wormy that is tied uh, m more like a San Juan worm. Uh, these, these do, um, you could use a bead with these just the way you, you do a, San, a bead with a San Juan worm. I'm going to show you one of the difficulties with these is not cutting the thread 
uh, not cutting, not cutting the worm with your thread. So one of the threads I like to use, it's a Vivas uh, iridescent thread. The pink is very nice. Uh, this is a red in the iridescent thread. They both complement your worms quite nicely. And to use this material, I put on, I put on a bobbin. By the way, this, this material works great for all kinds of San Juan worms too, for your hot spots. Um, I'll make a little base there. I'll put just a tiny touch of super glue there. And then I will get my squirmy wormy. Now this is a whole squirmy wormy. I don't want to use that whole thing, so I'm going to take about half of it. And I'm only going to have a little bit up at the top. And I'm going to put loose wrap, loose wrap, loose wrap, loose wrap. Now my finger's glued to the hook, so we're going to get around that. Let's swing this up. Loose, loose, and then I go behind. And when you go behind it, you'll kind of lock it into place. And I'm not pulling down hard here. Now, some people advocate uh, using dubbing on your thread to keep it from uh, just kind of slicing that little squirmy wormy apart. I'm just kind of teasing it to the top of the hook, which is not really needed. Wrap in front. Whip finish. Done. Now, if I want this to be really tidy and perfect, I would use probably use ice dub, but I happen to have some fusion dub handy. And it's great, it's uh, great to use nice bright material here. A little bit of Senyo fusion. Eat a peach fusion dub to spice up your squirmy wormy. There you go. So this is a second way of rigging your worms. You have the gob, you have the inline. Now, I'm gonna show you a worm that's new this year. And it is, it is different indeed, it is different. Mini squiggle worm. And you'll see, compared to the, this is half a squirmy wormy, and this is a mini squiggle worm. You see it's, it's, uh, it's shorter, it's also much, much finer. Uh, this is a uh, brown, this is a worm brown. It's got little sparkles in it, and it's not actually tied to the hook. It's glued to the hook. I'm going to show you how to do that right here. So first of all, let me show you how these uh, how these come. These mini squiggle worms. The squirmy wormies are already loose in the package. Your mini squiggle worms. Come on a handle and you pull one off, you pull each one off see that beauty? Now these are small so um, and by the way we have a link to some of the um, some of our preferred hooks down below this happens to be a Kona BC1 in a size 12. It's barbless. And so I'm going to, I'm gonna thread it, thread this hook into, and I know you can't see this because I've gotta hold on to this darn thing. But think about how you'd be threading a big pink worm if you happen to be fishing one for a bass. 
You do the same thing here, but it's just really down downscaled. And there you go. So you you rig it on. Now you could fish it just like that, but I'm going to um, because this is probably going to catch a lot of trout or bluegill. Oh goodness, bluegill fishing is fun. Tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of super glue. Pull the worm back, put it right there. Lift the worm up, put it right there. You're done. This is uh, how you rig a mini squiggle worm on a small hook, barbless hook, fine wire, um, short shank, uh, and this thing really fishes. And you, you could rig two on there. You could use a gob of worms with the mini squiggle, just like we did with the uh, squirmy wormy. And that is the name of that story. Hey, thank you for joining us.